This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Roof. Here we got Fabian, finally got his time on the channel. He's been clapping at our locals for months now, been doing really, really well. Yep. Plays the game to death and the, uh, the results are showing up. So, uh, where was it? What, what did you finish today? Sorry? Uh, it was third place in Swiss. So yeah. I went 5-1. Uh, and then in the top cut uh, that we did after that came first. Just to clarify, that top cut was like yeah. a winner box additional. Yeah. So you got third place in the OTS in, Championship. In the actual thing, yeah. That's pretty good. And then you got first place yeah. in the winner box. Not bad at all. Not bad for a haul, though. No. Not bad for a day's work. Okay, so what did you play? I played DDD because I play Striker every week and I just wanted to play something more fun and different. So and I picked up DDD. <laughs> and it worked out for you. You picked yep. up two days ago. Yep. No spreadsheet required. Oh. <laughs> we just out here just playing loads. Solitaire, yep. solitaire, solitaire. Okay. Fair enough. Well, uh, let's get stuck into the profile, shall we? All right, take us away when you're ready. Okay, so for the starters, I played three Kepler and three Copernicus. Yep. So this anomalous special adds a dark contract, and this mills a DD or a dark contract. Uh, they're just insane. Uh, they apply so much pressure on normal summons, there's no reason not to play three of them. Uh, and then for one of the best cards in the deck, I played three Griffin. It has four effects, so if you control a DD, you can spec it from the hand in defense. Um, if it's summoned from the grave, you can add a DD card from deck to hand. If it's pendulum summoned, you can pitch a DD or dark contract for cost to draw one. And then in the scale, uh, you can pop itself to target a uh, DD monster you control, and it gets 500 attack for each unique contract on the field of grave. So it's just insane. Uh, sure. Mandatory for real. And then one of the best cards in the deck as well is three slime. Uh, this is how you play round hand traps uh, and just through interruption in general. Uh, it's poly in the hand, including itself, and then you can banish it as cost in the grave to spec a DD from hand. Uh, it's just so cool. Like, into a board, if you draw this plus, like, these, it's just insane. Um, and then I also played one Necro. It's Miracle Fusion. Uh, you normally just want to dump it off of, like, Copernicus. Typhon, uh, it does the same thing as this, but you normally cycle through both in the combo. Lamia, uh, it's another one tuner and also extends, and it also makes gate a one card combo. Uh, one Thomas, this um, is Oath Dragon, it adds one from extra to your hand, um, which is really cool because you can go like Pendulum Summon something, and then Griffin destroy itself. Uh, Thomas add it back and then spec the Griffin to full combo. Sure. Uh, that comes up quite a lot. Uh, one Oblivion. Um, this, you can, if you special summon a DD, you can special summon another DD from the brain. And then you take a thousand and damage your opponent takes its half for the rest of the turn. And then it's monster effect. Uh, you can spec a DDD from your grave and you can also tribute another DD to banish your card your opponent controls. Uh, I ne that never came up today, but uh, it's here principle, I guess. And then. Orthros, this, uh, you can target a, a spell or trap on the field and a DD or Dark Contract and destroy them. Um, and then it's also a tuner which comes up. Uh, so they're just the one offs. Um, in the deck. And then for the spells, I played three gate. Uh, this is Rota, it just adds any DD. And then all the continuous contracts have the effect where you take a thousand on the standby phase yeah and that actually activates so one time i uh, my opponent passed i was on 800 life i activated gate and standby phase to burn myself for a thousand because it's mandatory and i chained ogre and killed him <laughs> pop your own <laughs> yeah and then uh one swamp king uh this is uh, poly and then you can also banish it so it's like swirl and necro in one card uh but it's searchable so you only need it as a one of sure and then the other contract is insane which is patent license you can search this into a deck like ignista or pk or prank it um and if so if your opponent summons a monster from the extra deck of a dd card you control so if they summon a link and you control a link you burn a mckay and they can no longer summon links for the rest of the turn pretty uh, good which so insane because they go like summon meow and then you use this and they lose. and then uh if it's sent to the grave uh you can add a dd from grave or extract your hand which is nice because like in the grind game you can send it off of this from deck and um add something back 
Then, a oh, quite controversial card on this deck, I played three pure race map. Okay. So, this at the start of your main phase one adds any monster with zero attack from deck to hand, and then half your life points, and then you can't activate its effects till you normal summon it. Um, so, it adds any of your starters, so it boosts consistency, which I really liked. Um, uh, and in my opinion, you have to play it. Uh, it's either like this or Small World because you need a consistency card. But my issue with Small World is multiple things. One, it plays into Lazio, which Lazio does like a decent amount of things in this deck because you can't uh, use things like Necro or um, this. Um, and also, every time you activate Small World, you're either getting rid of a utility card, which you want in your hand, or a hand trap. So I, ju I just really didn't like Small World in this deck. Yeah. Um, and then 1-1 one, one for 1, it's just insane. Uh, it helps push through everything. Uh, and then pulled by. I normally don't like putting this in decks, but with Scythe, I just think it's kind of mandatory. It helps push your hand traps. Um, and it was also the 41st card. I wanted to play 41 just for my side deck pattern, and I think pulled by was the best card to fit in the last slot. Sure. And then the trap headhunt. So this uh, is like Snatch Deal and Imperm combined. So if you control a DDD, you can target a monster your opponent controls, take it, negate its effects, uh, and then they get it back at the end of the next turn and they can't attack. Sure. Um, it's just so insane because it, it's the main way the deck can play around droplets. Because if you summon Griffin back from the grave in the combo, which you normally do at the end, and add hand hunt, it means you don't lose the draw, sure. which is just really nice. And then for the hand trap portion of Edek, I played a lot. Uh, I played three Ash, three Vela, three Ogre, and three Nidra. Um, the reason I wanted to play just like infinite hand traps was that your engine's like fairly small and you just have room for it. Um, and it's like if you draw multiples into decks, it's just very very good. Um, and then I didn't want to play ball breaker cards just because I didn't think they were as good going first And I want to be able to also play through other people's ball breaker cards yeah. with hand traps And especially because if you pendulum summon this and discard a card to draw Since I play so many hand traps, you're normally going to be drawing a hand trap yeah. Um, which is just so insane. Um, so yeah, that's it for the main deck. What do you want as I said before? Uh, sure. Yeah, I don't think I'd change anything. I think the main deck was like perfect. I just really liked it. Cool. Now, for the extra, I played, uh, this card's insane, for Gilgamesh. So, on Link Summon, um, it... Uh, puts two scales from your deck into your pendulum zones, and then you take a thousand life points. It places them as well, doesn't yeah, it? So it places, it plays around and it spells. Yeah, it plays around uh, which is really nice. Um, that actually did come up today, uh, where they unspelled me and I just did this, and then pendulum summoned. So it's just the main combo piece. And then also, something people didn't realise was if this was destroyed um, by battle or card effect, uh, I could act it floats into another DDD from the extra. Sure. Um, so I played against this guy and he chained Gamma, uh, which was like sad, but then I spec one from the extra, and yeah, that was just insane. And then the other link was one dark. Yeah. Uh, this is just for any DP deck, um, pretty much. It actually did come up a few times today. Uh, like, I spec back his DP and then crashed into his body to just search Kepler to full combo him. Sure. Uh, so that was just, yeah, that Spice. was insane. Yeah. Um, then Dexies, one Wave King. Uh, this card's really, really good. Uh, if it's sent from the field to the graves, uh, you add a Dark Contract from deck to hand. And then you can also detach a material from it. And then at the end of the battle phase, any card, uh, any DD card that was destroyed this turn, you can special summon back. So uh, against Crankheads, I actually summoned this to beat Butler, uh, which was just really strong. And then I made Zeus, and then just full combo and one. Sure. Um, Marksman, you can spec this over this. If you've taken damage, which you would have from Gilgamesh, you can detach to basically just burn your opponent for a thousand. And then if it's ever from the field to the grave, you um, mill it. Um, and then one King Caesar. This card is absolutely nuts. So just like a regular Caesar, if it's sent from the field to the grave, you also add a dark contract, so it's nice how it floats. And then normal to a turn, you can detach a material from it, and any uh, effect your opponent activates, monster spell or trap, that would special summon a monster, you can just negate it. So it's like it's very good into prank kids because you can stop right. Um, it's just so insane in general. Uh, two Machinex. You can just slap this onto any DDD. Um, you end on this and then 
uh, you can, if your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you can either detach two materials from it, or send a dark contract from the field to the grave to attach that monster to this. So by itself it just beats DPE, um, which is really, really strong. And then the final card is just Zeus. Um, uh, it's, it's, uh, like, this got two into DDDs, but a lot of the time, when I was going second, this got, like, Veilerd, Imped. I just slapped this over it. Um, battle phase attack, main phase two makes Zeus. So, yep. Which was just, like, really strong. Um, and then fusions, two Genghis. Uh, you need two to make the, uh, this. Uh, but sorry, you, well, my card was a little bit higher. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, um, High King Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And then, um, if you summon a DD, uh, you can target one in your grave and reborn it, uh, and that's how you actually reborn um, your uh, griffin in yep. order to add the trap. Um, and then also, if it's sent from the field to the grave, you can add a contract, um, spell a trap from grave to hand. Sure. And then this does the exact same thing with the reborn as this, um, so you can do that multiple turns. But once per turn during your turn, it's a spell and trap negate. Sure. Um, so I actually played around in Empire on my guild mesh with this once, which was nice. Um, then for the synchros, one Siegfried. Uh, this card came up a few times today. It's essentially hot red just for spell or trap. So uh, during either player's turn, uh, you can target a spell or trap and negate it. And then if it's sent from the field to the grave, you gain a thousand for each contact you control, which is really relevant. Sure. And then the last card, which came up loads today, was Baron. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can just summon this going second. No one expected it. And then it just gives you so much resilience. Like you can pop cards. Um, you can like negate stuff. It's just so much. Um, There's a reason everyone's playing it. Yeah. And then for the side deck, I played three Gamma. Uh, this is just a hard going second card. It's good into literally every deck other than like trap decks at the minute. Um, so this was like a mandatory side deck. And then this is going to look really weird, but I played two Droll, two Token Collector, two Impa. So the theory with this is uh, in the deck, there are eight cards you're always going to take up going second, um, which I just set. Um, so it's, it's always the, the gamma package and then whatever you want to uh, out of these um and it's normally like always in um and then yeah just one of these two uh but the reason i don't main in uh and i play failure over it is because on your normal combo you've got two scales contract contract and then the trap so you have no room to actually set in sure so yeah you need to so it's basically only going to go in seconds yeah and then play two twin twisters. Again, it's the same going uh, second theory where it's like another two off. But this was just for back decks or prank kids because it's just insane as prank kids. And then the last card was the only hard going first card I played, which was Triple Tactics Talents. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to play a floodgate card like Anti Spell. I didn't want to play a card like Different Dimension Ground or D Barrier. I just wanted to play Talents because it gives you resilience through hand traps. Mm -hmm. Because you can like bait a hand trap. The um, talents look at the hand and then combo them, and then you just know what's in the hand. So you I know at least one person that you like double punished today for that. Oh yeah, yeah, it was it was insane. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the deck. Okay, awesome. Okay, firstly, congratulations on thank the top. You. Big well done. Yep. Uh, thank you very much for taking time to do the profile. Really appreciate it. Any shout outs before we go? Um, shout outs to Jam Jam Cards UK because I bought quite a lot of these cards yeah. from them. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Mana Screw because it's just the best locals. Yep. Uh, it's incredibly stacked. Like we've got like insane UK players here. Shout out to Mark for running the event. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Also- <laughs> Well, here he is. He's got his shout, happy days. <laughs> yeah, and then finally shout out to Pat because he's the reason I'm playing the deck. Well, inspiration yep. from up high. <laughs> and then, yeah, I essentially net decked him uh, for the most part. I changed a few things, but yeah. This is basically packs list. All right, fair enough. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for taking time on the profile. Congratulations yep. again on your top. Guys, if you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.